Hey guys, what's up? It's Jerocroft, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I have a few things to show you, including this house, which I am going to put the schematic up for download, and you'll find that in the description below. Now, before I give you a tour of the inside, I'm going to show you two new creations, one that includes a prisoner wagon. But first, let's check out my latest project. It's the first I have ever built, and I'm quite proud of it, so I hope you guys like it. Check it out. Right guys, and there it is. It's a hot air balloon, something I've been wanting to build for some time, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's something nice to put in the sky, and also goes well with the colourful marker that I showed you how to build in my last video. So what you guys think, let me know in the comments below, I'd much appreciate it. Right, so moving on, I did show you this wagon design in my last video, and you guys really liked it. It kind of reminds me of those fortune teller wagons. But anyway, I came up with a new design, it's a prisoner car, and I find it absolutely hilarious to stick people in there. Just look at this guy. <laughs> but I think it's definitely a nice addition to add to most medieval cities. So the point is, if you like both designs, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on both of them. I also use this same design to build this one over here. Same concept, just obviously for the non-prisoner type. <laughs> so anyway, moving back to the house I built yesterday, I wanted to go for something slightly more complicated but I completely forgot to add the chimney, so slightly disappointed. But obviously you can add it yourself once you download the schematic for the house in the description below, because I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this house because it was far too complicated, and I can't even remember how I built it in the first place. So anyway, here's a 360 spin of the entire house. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So I haven't actually bothered too much on the interior, but again it's up to you what you want to add inside the house. You've got space for a living room and a kitchen, and also some space over here. And there's also a very small back garden, which I quite like because it's connected to the house and it's obviously mob free. But the only disadvantage is that it's very small. Now there's also a basement straight down through here, which again is quite small, but it can be expanded to your liking. This door actually is to nothing. I would probably advise adding an enchanting room here because there is an attic for storage. Right, so moving on to the second floor, I just realized that I think this might be better off as a half slab and this would be better off as a stair block, but I'll leave you guys decide on that, I think this looks nice already. Moving on to the second floor, we have space for a study and also on the left we have the bedroom, but again I haven't bothered too much with the interior, totally up to you. There's also a balcony that goes around the entire house and this was a complete accident, I did not plan on having this, but I guess it could prove worthy in some occasions, I mean you get a view of the entire valley in every angle, so why not? Moving on to the attic, we have space for storage. Plenty of storage space, and there's also a small room with more storage. <laughs> I mean, that is up to you, once again. And then finally, there's the top balcony with the highest viewpoint of the house. So guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'd much appreciate it if you leave a rating and maybe even subscribe to my channel. So possibly for my next video, I'll be doing a tutorial on the first wagon design. So stay tuned and I'll hopefully see you next time for plenty more Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching, this is Jerocroft, over and out.